chit chat Kit Kats. Well, one year ago today is when I lost uh, little Gypsy Moon. She was so cute. And she comes to visit every once in a while I catch this, you know, <laughs> skittering by, you know. So she comes, uh, she comes to visit. Oh, my goodness. Now, 11 years ago today, February 17, 2011, I gave this information about Kundalini. Kundalini is awakened and then it must be understood and allowed to do what is needed to pull one along inwardly rather than projecting outwardly into realms and powers. Okay, so um, again, there are those that think they know what Kundalini is, but they don't know. They think they understand what I teach, but they have no idea. So that's it. Kundalini is, when it awakens, it's there to pull you inwardly on the journey. It's not about externalization and powers and all of that, okay? So there is the spiritual path, and there are those that misuse and abuse it um, in a very wrong way. Just like anything can be misused and abused when it's not understood. So anyway, those are old time stuff. So I rode, went down to the doctor. Um, I get there, they don't have my, you know, they don't have the report. So I have to wait. I'm there for over an hour. They didn't, didn't get the report. They go, well, we'll call you when the report comes in. So I leave. I get the call, it's exactly what I thought it was going to be. Nothing's changed and uh, we'll do another MRA in a year. You had to have me come all the way down here. I had to postpone driving to my daughter's wedding, put it off for a day to come down and hear that. Needless to say, it did not make me happy you know, that you have to drag all the way down for something that would take a call a 10 minute call at most, and it takes four hours out of your day. Okay, so, I mean, it's good that nothing has changed with it, but uh, you know, it didn't shrink. You hope that it shrinks, it didn't shrink, but it didn't get larger, so. Um, but I did lose a lot of my hearing uh, with having the gamma knife, I lost 70% on that side. So anyway, it's, uh, I came back and the car's loaded up now. And I'm about ready to go. Maymay and Mr. Max are not going to be happy when I walk out tomorrow. But uh, she's giving me the face. Mr. Max knows when I get my suitcase out that, that something's going on. But uh, you'll be okay, Maymay. You like, she likes Ronald a lot. Now, people I got her for, I think he, she was mainly the boy's dog. So she really likes men. So when Ronald comes over, she, she is just really happy, you know, so that's good. You know, he, everybody says I've got the friendliest dogs. Say, of course we're sweet. Say, we're mama's dogs. Of course we're good kids. Mama doesn't raise bad puppies. She just doesn't. No, she doesn't. She doesn't have bad puppies. You're the loving. Oh, look at nose kisses. <laughs> I'm getting lots of nose kisses this evening. So anyway, yeah, I'm going to probably wind up going to bed early tonight um, so that I can hit the road. Um, Maymay. 
can I have my lap back? Say, no, you were gone for four hours today. I don't like it, and now you got to make up for it. So anyway, yeah, I've got a few more things to pack up, make sure I have everything that I'm taking on the road. And uh, yeah, get ready to leave probably pretty early in the morning. I don't know what's going on with this. This is supposed to be working, but it's like they're not they're not working. Why is this? Am I losing more hearing? Because I'm not I'm not hearing it. Ah, made of me, quit. So I don't know. I could be losing more hearing. I don't know. I'll have to have it checked when I get back. Will you stop? Sit. Sit. Give me a break for a second. Uh, I just got through eating. The last thing you want is the, these two jumping on your stomach right after you've eaten. <laughs> like, give me a check <laughs> a second. Anyway, oh, uh, so my daughter got her dress today. She's stressing because 300 flights were canceled today. Um, she's supposed to fly out and be out there Saturday. I'm going to be there Sunday. So she's hoping that they don't cancel her flight. And then she just got her wedding dress today. And uh, it needs to have some alterations done on it. <laughs> and the wedding is Monday. May May, come on, give me a break. Sit. May May, sit. 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 Oh. Hey, bad girl. <laughs> Sit. You got to do the push. Got to do the push. We got to do the push. Huh? I'm going to do the push. You're not going to win. Not going to win. Sit. May May, sit. You know what that word means. She says, I know, but I don't like it. <laughs> there she goes, good girl. Oh, mercy. So she's got to have it altered. The, the girl that made the dress for her, though, lives in L.A., so she'll come down. It's a good thing they're going a day early so she can come down and get it altered. The back of it's killer. She's kind of got one of those backless back drapes. Really pretty. But the front of it, um, yeah, the front of it needs to be worked on because it's too, it's supposed to be form-fitting. It's a little big in the waist and the hips, so it's kind of, you know, uh, wrinkling or something there. It just, it, it needs to be altered. But she does have a secondary dress just in case, so I hope she's taken along just in case something happens with the alteration. Oh, mercy. And then, of course, the day of the wedding, um, it's going to be the coldest, not only the coldest day of the week, but the coldest day of this winter. <laughs> like, really? <laughs> the one day out of the year? <laughs> So anyway, I do have a little jacket I can wear with my dress, and it, it'll look okay. But, uh, yeah. And then I'm taking a uh, jade bangle, one of the translucent ones that I have that she can wear. Since she's half Chinese, she should be wearing some jade for her wedding because it's good luck. So she'll be wearing the jade bangles that I have that I know will fit her, it'll work for her. Um, so yeah, and her bouquet did show up from England. Last minute her bouquet she ordered showed up. So I said, well, I, I guess I don't need to bring the other one then since, since that one came. She goes, no, 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 bring it. It's really pretty and I wanna take pictures with it. So I will be taking the bouquet that I made. She does want to use it, so that's sweet. Um, yeah, so a few more days. I can't believe it.
few more days and she will be a missus. Then they have, uh, he's got a show coming up in Seattle. So they'll go up and she'll get to see all her good friends over there. So that'll be fun. And then they move into their new house on March 3rd. They got a closing date of March 3rd. So, you know, busy, busy, busy. Wedding, go to Seattle, do a show, come back, move into the new house, get ready as soon as the uh, pandemic lets up some, the, they're gonna take a honeymoon. I think they were talking about going to Disneyland. <laughs> okay. These two, they love Disneyland, uh, you know. But they're going to go in Paris, okay, go to France, to Disneyland, okay. Oh, so. Now, I, I think it would be nice to go to France and, uh, you know, very nice romantic place, but of course they're going to Disneyland. Not my place, you know, I'm staying for the wedding and then I'm leaving, but uh, them and their friends are all going to stay that day and, and go on all the rides and stuff, but they know I'm not so big on the rides. Not even when I was a kid growing up. My dad, you know, they said, we're going to go to Disneyland. I was like, do we have to? I don't want to go. You're going to go and you're going to have fun. <laughs> I may go, but I'm not going to have fun. <laughs> yeah. It never has been my thing, you know. So anyway, I, I'm glad it's something they enjoy together. That's fabulous. Uh, each to their own. I'm glad they've got something they love to do together. That's perfect. So anyway, yeah, today, I was driving down there and almost, you know, going out. So I'm going, well, you know, I had to get some ice to come back. I had sleep, you know, it's not like I didn't have sleep. I'm wondering if my iron infusions didn't take so well. Because, uh, I mean, I was really, you know, ready to nod out. And I get that way when the anemia is really bad. I get to where I have to pull off. I have to have ice or else I'll start, you know, nodding out, you know, going going out to sleep. Yeah. So I'm kind of wondering, you know, is it taking a while to kick in or did it just not work so well? What's going on? So it looks like I'm going to be having to ice my way across. <laughs> as long as I have ice, I'm okay. If I don't have ice, it's like, um, you know, it's like somebody that has narcolepsy. You just, you go out, you know, and uh, I'll have to pull over and, and climb in the back and, and lay down for 15, 20 minutes before I can go again. Um, but if I have the ice, then I don't know what it does, but it, it allows me to keep driving and, and to not, uh, thank God I know that works, you know, because I have a long drive ahead of me. So I may be having to chew on ice the whole way across. And that's okay. As long as I can get there in one piece and get her decorations there. Now I did put all her, you know, her table decorations. They're in the car. My dress is in the car. I just have to uh, put my suitcase in there and I'm just waiting, you know, because I got to use stuff in the morning, your hairbrush and your toothbrush and all that other stuff, and then I can pack it in my suitcase and make sure to go. Got to make sure I pack up my, my um, diabetes stuff. So I'm going to get that packed up here in just a few minutes. Put that in my suitcase so I don't forget it. And do another once over to make sure that I have whatever I'm taking. Maybe I'll take one of my flutes with me as well. Yeah, I think I'll pack one of them, one of them with me. 
Oh. I don't know why I'm getting, I'm going to have trouble again. My nose is starting to run. I get that real sick after I eat. My nose starts running and then I know I'm in for it for an hour. Although I don't know what's in it that caused that because I had sushi. Maybe it because of the rice. But I, I can't think what else. Well, maybe the fish is a little oily, so the rice converts to sugars and oil, and that, that does it for me. Then I get really sick feeling. Uh, so yeah, not so fun. But this too will pass. Anyway, so that's what's going on tonight. A year ago, 11 years ago. <laughs> and I, you know, I did make a couple more shirts. You'll see them eventually. And I did paint my little bag that I take with me. So one side of it is the mountains. You've seen that scenery. And the other side is more oriental. It's got the greens and the lavenders to go with my um, jade and stuff and her wedding stuff. So I get that today as well. Uh, well, I'm going to close this out now because I'm going to have to lay down in a few minutes. I'm getting that thing where I get really sick for an hour, hour and a half. It seems like it's been getting more and more touchy with that, with what I can eat and what I can't eat. Definitely not fun. So I'm going to leave this here because I'm going to be having to lay down, down for the count, go take my bath, and I'll see you online. I'm not sure if I'll be on in the morning or not before I go, but we'll see. You know where I'm at, on the road. Thanks for tuning in.